if you've never wanted something so bad that it made you scream from the pit of your soul, I have no message for you. Have you ever been so desperate for more in your life that your soul literally screamed? More in your career, more in your health, more in your relationship, more than average. If you can acknowledge that, it's the first step to getting it. When I wrote this dialogue, I started crying because I remembered everything I had gone through in my life to become who I am. I came from a fragmented home, lived in a one-room motel when I was six, diagnosed with IBS and scoliosis since I was 14, went to college, lost my scholarship, almost flunked out, started a business at 19, and invested $5,000 of my money, only for it to fail. Experienced heartbreak after heartbreak, loneliness and disappointment became my norm. So who the hell was I to say that I would one day experience abundant life? In order to become something new, what you once were must die. Your old habits, old ideologies, old work ethic, they must die. Because they are not worthy of the level you dream of. You must transform. There were times when I had to rock myself to sleep at night. There were more days when I contemplated suicide than I could count. I hated my life. But... There was an undying whisper in my soul, a still small voice that said, you are destined for more. Listen to me very closely. I stopped being defeated by the pain when I realized how strong I had become, that every hurt was fueling my fire. My life changed forever. My teacher in undergrad told me I'd never be a scholar, and that is why I now have a 4.0 in my master's program, one year from becoming a psychologist. My doctors told me that I couldn't be an athlete, and that is why I've now got a closet full of trophies. I decided that their doubt cannot stop me. I chose to live a life of zero limitations. You need to refocus your mind, change the way you think about what happens to you, and it will become your greatest asset. Your story will become your glory. Every time I've failed, I gained hunger. I now say thank you for every time I was hurt and people walked out of my life because the pain from the door hitting me in my face was like fire in my veins. It created a warrior. That rejection, that access denied, increased my durability because life may knock you down, but if you can still get up, you can still win. I will accept no other outcome. When you leave this earth, choose one of two paths, die a legend or die a fighter constantly in the pursuit of greatness, but do not die a quitter. My name is Ryan Howard.